Finally, Matter is here, and I have some real-life Matter devices that were actually made for Matter. So let's see how easy it is to add these to a bunch of smart home platforms and get them working. All right, if you don't know what Matter is, that's okay. I'll be explaining the basics throughout this video. But if you want to know more about Matter, I did a video on it recently that you can go check out after, and I'll link it down below. But the great thing about Matter is that when you're at the store looking to buy a smart home device, you don't need to worry about all the different systems that it's compatible with. You only need to look for the Matter logo and you'll know it works with your system. So it keeps it pretty easy. Wait, no, I, I lied, forgive me. This one actually requires a thread border router. A thread border router, it's pretty simple. It's included in a bunch of devices that you might already have in your home, like an Amazon Echo 4th Gen, Samsung SmartThings Hub, Google Nest Hub Max, Apple HomePod Mini, and all you need is one of those border routers, and then that will allow you to connect your Thread devices to. And then the only thing you need to know about Thread is the more Thread devices you add, it builds a strong mesh network that's more reliable than Wi-Fi, so it's pretty cool. And then, once you get your Matter device, you scan the Matter QR code to the system that you're using, and it uses Bluetooth to commission it and add it to your smart home system. So, keeps it really easy and simple. Well, in theory at least, let's see what it's like to add this Matter device to a bunch of different smart home systems. First, I added it to SmartThings. And when you plug in that Matter Smart Outlet, it automatically goes into pairing mode. And then when I opened up the SmartThings app, a little pop-up automatically showed up to add that Matter device, which made it really easy. It just walked me through the steps and it added it without any problems, both the Wi-Fi and the Thread smart outlets. Controlling the device from the app was really responsive and the app updates quickly if you're controlling it from the physical device. So I was really surprised because SmartThings has been, you know, a little rocky over the last few years, but Hey, it worked great with these Matter devices, so five out of five. But let's see how it works with Amazon. Right now you can only add Matter devices with an Android phone, so no iOS. Not off to a good start with Amazon. And when I went to add a Matter device with my Android phone, it did not work. So one out of five stars for Amazon. Why don't you matter? I'm sorry. Can I order you an Elsa cape on Amazon to make up for it? Yes. I know this is all still really new and Matter is still being developed, but it doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence in Amazon because it just didn't work at all. Let's see if Google is any better. What's cool about Google is on their new phones they have built-in Matter detection. So when that Matter device is in pairing mode, it automatically showed up on my phone to add it. And in I didn't have to be in any specific app, which made it super easy to use. And then unlike Amazon, I could actually add the Matter device to the system. But even though I added it, sometimes I couldn't control the device and other times I would add it and it would work. So I'm not really sure what's going on because this same device worked fine in SmartThings. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five. Again, this is all extremely new. I mean, we're on Matter 1.0, so I'm not ready to throw in the towel on Matter just yet. But now it's Apple's turn. With Apple, you don't get a prompt to add that Matter device even if it's in pairing mode nearby. You just have to scan the QR code and it adds it to the system no problem. And I was able to control it really fast, just like with SmartThings because all of Matter devices are controlled locally and they don't require the cloud. So that's one of the benefits to Matter but I'm still gonna have to give Apple a four out of five because you don't get any kind of prompt. But what if you wanna add one of these Matter devices to multiple systems like Amazon and Apple or Google and SmartThings? So when I was first trying to add a Matter device to multiple systems, I had added it to Apple and then I went to the SmartThings app and tried scanning the Matter QR code and it did not work. And I was like, maybe this, you can't add Matter devices to multiple systems yet. But then I found out about multi-admin. This is a feature that's built in and allows you to add Matter devices to multiple systems. And here's how it works. If you first added it to Apple, you go into the device settings and click on turn on pairing mode. This puts a Matter device into pairing mode and gives you a new code. It's different than the one that's on the little sticker. And you use that new generated code to add it to a new system like SmartThings. 
and it will add it just fine. And that way you can control this device in SmartThings or Apple. So it's pretty sweet. And you can do the same thing if you add this first to SmartThings. You click on the device settings and choose share with other services. It puts it in pairing mode, gives you a new code. It even gives you a QR code that you can add to Apple or Amazon or Google or whatever. And so you can control it in multiple systems. It's pretty easy once you know how it works. So now that I've added Matter devices to my smart home, does it solve all of my problems? Not really. Take for example this Eve energy monitoring outlet. If I add this to smart things using Matter, I have basic controls like turning the device on and off, but this has built-in energy monitoring and I can't access that unless I use the Eve app. And that's just a shortcoming with Matter right now. So I know Matter is not perfect and may never be, but I feel very optimistic about the future because Matter is gonna continue to be updated and it's standardizing a smart home that's been a mess for years. And it's nothing short of a miracle that all these big smart home companies are working together on Matter. Basically, Matter is not the hero our smart homes deserved, but the hero we needed. Whoa, where'd you get that Elsa cape? Uh, hey dad, what's the matter? I'm glad you asked. Matter is a smart home protocol that's oh gonna help. Dad, it doesn't matter. Good matter, pun.